what we do here is go back, 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 back. guys joe with omgrc here so today we got a little vintage in front of us here this is the uh, tamiya this is the uh, stadium thunder so one tenth scale this, this probably i'm not exactly sure when it came out but uh, as far as this was from a, a friend of mine that had uh, given me his car it was over the weekend he's like here here's he gave me like three cars or so or four cars rc cars and was like he was moving and so anyway this is one of them here i'll just give you kind of a funny thing kind of reminds me of uh when I was a kid and what my cousin did to his grasshopper too. <laughs> so let me show you this one. I beat mine up. I don't know if I beat it up this extreme or what have you, but shock tower, you know, for the rear, all kind of busted up. But anyway, um, I'm not gonna fix this one up, but I am gonna use it for parts. In case one day I do run across another grasshopper or two, I believe that is, then I'll have some parts for it. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and focus on this one here, so let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get this body top off here, just kind of take a look at the body anyway. So yeah, it's got overspray that's on there or what have you, you know, he was young at the time, and uh, you know, same things that I did too, as far as when you're young, painting stuff, you know, as far as YouTube wasn't around or any kind of guidance on that one, you just go to your local hobby shop and uh, if they told you something, you either did it or he didn't, based on their knowledge. Anyway, but I, it's cool. So let's go ahead, kind of go over this thing here too. It's actually in pretty good condition, to be honest with you. Like even just the bottom of it here, not really beat up. I mean, it's got scratches, but nothing super major. And these uh, arms on here are super thick too. So that, that was pretty rugged right there. Now this is just two wheel drive, just in case some of you guys are not sure. Yeah, so the front wheels are don't do anything, but the rears are what are being powered. So, all right, let's go ahead. We are missing the battery strap that's on here. We are running the mechanical servo. I'm gonna try and see if it works at all. Now, usually you put like a little bit of a, a grease on there that's uh, electrical grease. So that way, you know, it slides and makes a good connection there. We'll just see how it is. These things are really sketchy. And also, um, given the time period too, they would have another little, like a four AA battery that would have gone in here as well. So when you lost, con when the battery went dead, you kind of like had that last command thing so this would end that last command with this four AA batteries in there just kind of showing my age here a little bit too but uh it would just kind of keep on going a little bit and with the four double a's that you'd stick in here as an extra you'd be able to stop it or it would just you know stop on its own so that's that that's what i remember all right uh, as far as the back of it there's some stuff that's taped you know these things are taped up here going to the heat sink i'll go ahead and fix those up anyhow this is the east coast i believe a uh, viper motor that's in here i'm gonna go ahead and remove it he didn't solder anything that's on here so yeah um but there are marked as far as what's positive and what's negative i'm gonna go ahead and take it out anyway i'm gonna go ahead and put in just the old stock one um that i have which is to me a one I, and i didn't have the bullets on it i had chopped them off for something and anyway i just soldered up some new ones or some replacement ones. So that is that on that part of it. All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna time lapse some of this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the first thing, which was uh, remove the motor, get the pinion gear off, go ahead and put it onto our other motor here. And uh, yeah, let's go with that for right now. All right, so motor's been hooked up. Got everything done on that part of it. Seems to be pretty smooth on that. I just put a, just a hex fly battery in there just to test it with the Tamiya type connections. Go ahead and, and as far as this part goes, he, he had this, the antenna wire. It's a little long, but that's how they were anyhow. But it was wrapped around all the, the body post here. So I just went ahead and undid all that I'll have to put some pins in here just to kind of set the height and everything. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing fired up. Go ahead and turn on my radio first. So it's uh, so anyway, there we go. So let's go ahead and see. Definitely needs uh, some, I gotta still fix the servo, but it does work and so does. Hey. Uh, I just need to, do the wiring on here and also fix the servo issue 
And then from there, I'll be able to just to do, go ahead and take it for a spin real quick. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead, fix these. I'll just time lapse me soldering up these little connections here. And also then I'll go ahead and then stop and then go ahead and work on this servo, see what's up. All right, so now let's work on the servo. I'm gonna go ahead and take apart, just gonna see what, need, what I need to take off just to get to it. So I'm gonna remove these couple screws here that are in here and here and see what I can get to, see if I can get a screwdriver in there. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse that right now. All right, so what I have to do is this servo is broken right here, just the little piece here. I'm gonna go ahead and swap this servo, just switch them around because this one's got four little positions that I can get uh, the screws mounted on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, time lapse it. All right, so I got it cleaned up a little bit. Let's go ahead and take that body off of there. Take a look at it now. And then that rear, pretty good. Rolls pretty good now. So, all right, let's go ahead and take this thing for a spin, see how it does. All right guys, just thinking at the very end of this, I was like, man, I should've did this on Thursday, throwback Thursday for some vintage RC car. But anyway, this thing's pretty cool. I mean, yeah, it's not very fast, and now I did touch the motor, and that quick little run, that motor got fairly hot, so I don't know. Uh, you know, obviously the mechanical speed controller there, you know, that definitely needs to be switched out. But I do wanna keep it just bone stock. That's what it's all about right now. Um, the 75 megahertz, I had to put the antenna all the way up because it's not 2.4 gigahertz, so uh, if I didn't put it up, I go out of range fairly quick on it. So it didn't, man, it's just crazy. Uh, that 2.4 gigahertz, you guys take it for granted. Some of you guys now, they're just getting into the hobby. And if you only knew, as far as that 75 megahertz and 27 megahertz, all that good stuff, uh, it wasn't good stuff. It was horrible. 2.4 is definitely nicer. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, if you like this, definitely give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys had one, have one, what have you, like to me anyhow. They're pretty cool little cars anyhow. And yeah, I definitely dig it. I'm glad that my buddy um, gave me these cars. They're pretty cool. Uh, he, and of course, my cousin had the one, like I said in the beginning, but uh, that one is pretty much, yeah. Unless somebody has some parts or something like that, wants to donate, hit me up. Uh, if you have other RC stuff too, you can always let me know. I'm not gonna buy like a bunch of stuff, RC stuff, but if there's stuff that you're getting rid of, we'll see, because it's just because of shipping and stuff like that too. It gets expensive. That's the bad thing about, unless you're here in Pinellas County or something like that in, in uh, Florida. But anyway, enough of me rambling on about that one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Also, check us out at omgrc.com. We sell Tamiya along with other products too. You got your Red Cat, all that good stuff. So just definitely check us out. Anyway, till next time, you guys take care. Thank you for watching.